when I was around 12, 13 years old, I went to bed one night and my curtains on my window were just apart enough where I could have the full moon light shining down on me as I slept in my bed. It was a very quiet night. It was dark. My parents were home. My door was shut in my room. And I awoke in the middle of the night. And I saw the light of the full moon shining upon my bed and my room. And it shone pretty bright. So I'm laying in my bed and I'm sleeping. And I'm trying to go back to sleep. <laughs> but I feel like there's someone in the bed with me. So very, very slowly, I turned my head. And beside me was a lady. She was laying on my bed. And I could see her form laying in the bed beside me. And she had a comical hat on. And all I could see was the shape of her face. And she had a very pointy chin. She had high cheekbones. Kind of very pointy nose. And she was sleeping. My heart started pounding in my chest. And I'm thinking to myself, who is laying in my bed? I laid there and I closed my eyes and I thought, it's a dream, I'm dreaming. She's not in my bed. There's not a witch in my bed. And then very, very, very slowly, I turned my head and just as I could see her from the corner of my eye, He was still there. And I laid there so still because what would happen if I woke her up? <laughs> My heart was going to burst out of my chest. I do remember I wasn't scared. I just, I just didn't know what was going on. I was just like, what is going on? Why is there a witch in my bed? I could, I could see from my peripheral vision I could see her breathing, and she was wearing all black. She had black boots on, 
She laid there. Her arms were at her side. She looked very relaxed. And she was sleeping, breathing. And I thought, this has to be a dream. This has to be a dream. But I got the idea in my head that I should leave the bed. I should leave my room and just not be in there with her. So I began to inch myself. To the side of my bed. Very, very slowly. Each milliliter, I stopped and listened for her. And she did not move. She was breathing. I inched myself slowly the side of my bed and I inched myself so far over that I started to go over the side of my bed. I had my leg over and I put my arm over the bed. Pretty soon I had half my body off the bed. And each little inch that I moved, I stopped and listened. She did not move. And I could hear her breathing. took very, very quiet breaths just to calm my heart as much as possible from beating out of my chest. Then I worked on the other side of my body. Pretty soon I had my whole body coming down the side of the bed and I held these positions and then I would move and then I would hold the position and then I would move. It took quite a while to do this. Pretty soon my whole body was off the bed and I was able to slowly guide my body till I could get up onto my knees and my hands and I crouched down. And I listened. She did not move. I could hear her breathing. I raised my head over the side of the bed. looked at her. She was beautiful. She had a beautiful face. She had a really soft conical hat, very tall and pointy. She was slender. She had really cute little short boots on. 
I could see her little black dress and it had buttons going all the way down the front. Very plain. It had a round neck, just kind of like this one. She glowed a green color. She was like a green color, not real dark green. But she glowed a soft green color in the moonlight. I watched her for a couple minutes. And I did have thoughts of, maybe I should whisper to her, say, hey, why are you sleeping in my bed? <laughs> and then I thought, mm -mm, don't do that. I don't want her waking up. If this is a dream, I guess she could wake her up. But what if it's not a dream? And if she was supposed to wake up, she would. If you were supposed to talk to her, she would wake up and say, quit moving around, I'm trying to sleep, or something. I just kind of went with it, and I was like, I'm just gonna leave the room. So I turned slowly, and I got down on my hands and knees. And very, very quietly, I crawled to my door. Now I had to turn the knob on my door. very slowly, so it would not creak or make any kind of noise whatsoever. And I did it very slow. Till I could open my door. Very, very slowly. <laughs> Not making one little noise. I got my door open as far as I could crawl through. I crawled through my door very slowly. And then I turned around and I peeked through. And at the angle from the floor through my door to my bed, I could just see her profile and her hat. Just her form in there it was quite dark just enough light to see her form laying there. And I got shivers up and down my spine. The hair was going up on my neck and it's happening right now. It's almost like I can see that right now. It was so amazing and it was so scary. very slowly. <laughs> and then I crawled into my parents' room. I was very tired after that. I felt my chest pounding. I did not want to wake my parents up. And I just slept on my mom's side of the bed and went to sleep. Very 
very early in the morning when the sun came up. My parents were still asleep. I woke up. The sun had come up. And I went back to my room. I opened the door to my room very slowly and peeked in. My bed was empty. What was strange was I did have some stuffed toys in my bed and are on my bed. And I did sleep with some special stuffed toys. In the place of the witch lady was a little brown teddy bear that had lost an eye. And he was really cute and he had those arms that moved by themselves. He was an actual teddy bear. And he was one of my favorites. He was placed in my bed under the covers on the pillow with his little arms on top of the covers as if he had slept in that space. I always wondered who she was. Maybe she was who I was to become. Maybe she was an angel or a guide to bring me a message to overcome fear, to learn how to be respectful and very quiet of the spiritual realm. I'm not sure who she was. I am glad she came to visit me. If she had talked to me, I'm not so sure what kind of story this would end out as. But I have a cool story of a dream or maybe a living dream, a message from an angel or a guy. That's one of my favorite stories. I have really cool dreams like that. And I don't always remember my dreams, but when I do, they bring me a message. And I always ask for them. Before I go to bed, I do a quick meditation to release any thoughts that are in my head of the day or what I need to do the next day. If I'm having issues with someone or something and it's on my mind and I can't get it out of my head, I go to bed and I ask. I ask for messages, I ask for guidance. I ask for really cool dreams or else.
else. Just please let me sleep. Let me just sleep in peace.